I'm going to quickly show you how to adjust the exposure settings in your IP camera. So once you get to the web interface of your camera, enter the appropriate password to access your camera. If you're prompted to install a plugin, please do so by clicking on it and hitting run. It may ask you this uh, web security plugin, just hit run and then allow the user account control to say yes. Hit allow for all websites here so you don't have this issue in the future. Do not show me. Allow. You need these plugins to take full advantage of the different services and options that web cameras have to offer. So this guide is about how to enter the settings of your IP camera and go under conditions and change exposure settings. So this happens to be a camera with a very low lux rating. Imagine there's light outside and now when I turn the lights off, depending on the lux rating of your security camera, it may turn to black and white mode and the IRs might turn on. If you want to adjust what your camera does automatically, you can manually do it too. We have a more in-depth article on how to adjust daylight and night settings, but this one is just about showing how to turn off the infrared like so by going to IR light and off. Turning the IR lights off will keep the camera in color mode no matter what. You can also specify color mode here in day and, light, day and night to keep it in color. So if let's say the photo sensor senses complete darkness, it does not change to black and white if you don't want it to in a scenario where you have background lighting available and you are really concerned about capturing color from the scene that you're looking at. Further, you can ex adjust the exposure settings by going under here and adjusting the mode to manual. And using the shutter setting, the bigger number in the denominator will make the picture darker. As I choose smaller numbers in the denominator, it will get brighter. Depending on your camera, it'll have different shutter rates. This one goes down to 1 over 3 to make the picture as bright as possible. Keep in mind, choosing a, a low shutter rate like 1 over 3 will cause some blurriness. That's how cameras allow more light to come in. That's how starlight works. So you want to choose a shutter rate that works best in your scenario. Now I'm going to wave my hand over the camera to show how the motion is. So now if I decrease the shutter rate, it becomes very blurry. You have to make sure you choose the appropriate value that fits your application based on whether you're looking at people or vehicles. At nighttime, unfortunately, the only way to get a clear face is by having the IRs on or, if you want to keep the picture in color, by having additional lighting provided to the camera so it can maintain a high enough shutter rate like 1 over 30 and still be able to see in complete darkness. Once you've selected your shutter rate, don't forget to hit save and wait for this save succeeded box to appear. Thanks for watching.